On May 24th, Liberal leader Stéphane Dion dropped by Coburg for a visit. Yeah, they're snapping. Mr. Dion met with Liberal candidate Paul Macklin, Mayor Peter Delante, and members of the Northumberland Manufacturers Association to take a tour of Coburg's Weedabix plant. After the tour of the Weedabix plant, Dion participated in a roundtable discussion on issues facing both the Canadian and Northumberland manufacturing sectors. Mr. Dion says over the last three years, Canada has lost over 300,000 manufacturing jobs. You have a shortage of skilled workers, and in order, in order to stay competitive, we need to have the best skills, the best talents, the best uh, uh, processes, uh, technologies. That happens to be most of the, most of the time the greenest one. Right. Uh, and so uh, we will be very strong on the good labor market strategy to help the manufacturing sector. <laughs> Liberal candidate Paul Macklin says Canada needs to become a good job economy. We talked about shortage of cereal makers. We don't have a, a college or university level uh, course that would uh, help fill the needs and, and all the major cereal makers are within 70 miles of here and uh, that is something that possibly we could work with uh, other uh, groups or existing colleges or universities and try to get them to consider starting a course that would meet the needs of our local workforce. Mr. Dion also adds the shortage of skilled workers is taking a toll on everyone. We have a short age now. This may prevent us to be competitive as we should and energy efficiency. Uh, energy efficiency because uh, the cost of energy will go up. It may go down the, in the short term, but the long term will go up. Uh, it's very clear that uh, oil and gas, the, the demand is growing much uh, faster than the supply. Now, Mr. Dion says meetings like this one here at the Weedabix plant in Coburg helps him identify any problems that the manufacturing industry may have. For Northumberland News, I'm Morgan Campbell in Coburg.